Oh, hello, Dayton. I'm happy to see you. I was just taking a walk in the Ice Palace while one of my elves is feeding the reindeer. She's giving them some magic lichen. That's what allows them to fly. As soon as they're done, I'll have a flight training session with them all around the world. And who knows, I might even fly over where you live, in Europe. This is our Ice Palace Gallery. It's where we hang our favorite pictures. Day 10? Here's yours. You're four years old, aren't you? And you stay at home with Daddy. I know there's a special gift you'd really like to get. You think you've made it onto my nice list this year? I hope so. Mrs. Claus, the elves, and I have lots of surprises to share with you. Yes? Has someone come to see me? Oh, hello, Dayton. How wonderful it is to see you with my portable North Pole console. <laughs> We've been waiting for you to visit us. I just finished reading all the letters I received today from children. Vivian, will you get his big book for me? <laughs> Thank you, Vivian. In my library, I keep a big book about every child in the world. This one is yours. It tells me all about you. Look at you. You're four years old, aren't you? And you stay at home with Daddy. How wonderful. Oh, is that so? Day 10? There's something I'm very pleased to learn. It seems you always eat all your vegetables, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see that you love to dance and you're so good at it. My elves have done quite a good job updating your big book with new pictures. Look, it's your father. You know, he says that. You are very clever. I think so, too. <laughs> you ready? The elves are very excited to reveal the great surprise they prepared just for you. <laughs> Ah, very nice. As you can see, we know you really like superheroes. Now then, let's find out where you'll be this Christmas. Oh my, your big book is running out of magic stardust. We'll have to fix that, so I can be sure to know where to deliver your gift. Lena, do you have some magical stardust? Day 10? It looks like my elves have to go outside to gather some more stardust. Hurry up before his book runs out of magic. The snowy owls have a very important task. When the northern lights are out, they fly to the stars to gather the magic stardust and bring it back here to our village. Make sure to bring plenty back so all of the children's big books keep their magic. These jars are for your friends and family too. Ah, day 10. My elves got the stardust just in time. Look! Now I can see where you'll be this Christmas. In Europe. Oh. No, 
Ah, now I know this year you've been asked to try your best to always listen to your daddy. Do you think you've tried hard enough? <laughs> it seems there's a special gift you've been hoping for this year. Like a certain building blocks game. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, you're right. Day 10, it's time to see if you've made it on to my nice list. Follow me. Day 10, pay close attention. I will send your magical stardust to its rightful place. The color we see will tell us if you've made it onto my nice list. <laughs> Wonderful! You made it onto my nice list. My elves and I are very proud of you. Keep up the good work. Merry Christmas! Ho ho ho!